All right, today we're gonna learn about um, making your repoussé sketchbook cover. So this is an example of a fully embossed cover. Um, your goal is to get as many patterns, designs, um, embossing into the metal as you can. Um, so first you started in your sketchbook and you created your two thumbnail sketches. You have two options from that point. You can then draw your design on a sheet ripped out from your sketchbook or you can free draw it on the metal. Um, it's a little more reliable to transfer it directly to the metal, so that's what I'm gonna do. So you're gonna take your sheet of metal and you're gonna line up the paper. And there should be an edge all the way around because that's what's later gonna wrap around your sketchbook cover. And before you start doing anything, you need a soft surface below. I'm just gonna use this magazine. You can use a washcloth, a towel, anything like that. With your design drawn out and put it on the paper, you can either hold it in place or tape it. I would highly recommend taping it. With a regular old ballpoint pen, you're going to go ahead and trace your designs. And the nice thing about the pen is that you can see where you traced or where you didn't. If you had something that you didn't like it exactly how you did it in pencil, you can go ahead and make adjustments. Um, you know, and the nice thing about doing it in pencil versus transferring it straight to the metal is that you can erase. Whereas once you put it in the metal, it's a little bit hard to emboss or to, to erase it so that you have a clean surface. Um, so I'm going to get my key details outlined here. Um, I want my frame outlined. around the edges. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove the paper and you'll see that all those lines are already pressed into the metal. Now it's time to work with your tool. Um, you should have taken home a wood tool or had one picked up. Sorry, the reflections are kinda crazy. And now you're gonna to start to work the metal. So for each shape, you're gonna decide if you want it to press in or push out. Um, so for example, my letters, I think I want them to push out. So I'm gonna flip the metal to the back and I'm gonna start by outlining. And then I'm gonna go back with the wider end of my tool. Um, you can use a dull pencil, honestly, to do this. Pretty much any kind of tool or utensil that has just something that's not too sharp at the end will work. And then I'm slowly going in and I'm gonna pop out the entire letter. It's okay if you get a little wrinkle. I'll show you how to smooth that out. Because the more that you stretch the metal, the more that it's gonna wanna have like a kink in it. So you can see I'm getting that a little bit over here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take away my soft surface and to flatten out those bumps, if I don't want them, I'm gonna go ahead and rub it on the hard surface. So just straight on your table or your desk or your floor, wherever you're working. And I'm gonna flip it back over and I'm gonna return my soft surface. And you can see that this is popped out. I'm gonna show you from the side angle. First, I'm gonna retrace my edges because sometimes those get pushed in a little bit. And so when we look at it from the side, Hang on, let's try it this way. You know, you can see how much that that is popping out. That's like a good, um, you can see that it's 3D. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to fill in the rest of the space with patterns or designs. So you can change up your pattern all the way around. And with firm pressure, you'll notice that I'm going over each mark several times before I release. You know, I could have a section of polka dots. I can have an area 
where I switched to kind of just a dashed kind of pattern. And you wanna make sure, especially if you're not pressing super hard, I have a tendency to press super hard straight out from the start. Uh, you wanna make sure you're retracing those lines, so going over them a few times. It's way easier to just go over each mark back and forth a couple times while you're making it than it is to go back. And now maybe I want a pattern that's gonna come out from the back. So this time I'm gonna make a bunch of little like U's or elbow macaroni shapes. And it's gonna kinda look like confetti. And honestly, you're gonna wanna take some breaks while you work on this, because if you're really embossing the metal well, and pressing hard, your hand is going to start to hurt. And basically you're gonna continue to do that till you fill the whole metal. Um, once you finish doing that, um, I want you to send me a picture. So you're gonna take a picture on your Chromebook and email it to me um, so I can check it in. And then once you check it in, I'll post a video tomorrow showing you how to actually wrap it around the cover of your sketchbook. And then you can decide if you want to add any color to it. Uh, you have to use permanent markers, so that's kind of going to depend on whether or not you have those resources available to you. Um, but I hope this helps. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.